Global temperature is rising, bringing drought and starvation to the world's desert regions. People are fleeing their countries. Governments around the world are spending a lot of money transporting food and water. On the other hand, the interest in water scarcity is big. Drinking water has become a commercial product. Unfortunately, the water shortage crisis has created an unscrupulous business. If we wait and do nothing, in 30 years, life on this planet will be impossible. Too much water will be captured in hot air. Vast areas of land becoming completely dehydrated. But nobody is asking, where is all the water? Has it disappeared? No, just changed its aggregate state. Air above 30 degrees has an amazing water intake capacity and hot air acts like a sponge, sucking up groundwater as far as a depth of 7 meters. Fact is, on our planet, there is no place with more water or less water. In green Austria, we don't have more water than in the dried out Saudi Arabia, just the aggregate states are different. In Europe, 30 degree air contains 12 milliliters of water per cubic meter. Now we could think double temperature of 60 degrees is double amount of water, but this is wrong. A 60 degree air contains 72 milliliters of water. This is six times as much. We don't have to fight global warming, we can use it. Global warming is now our biggest chance. With one cc air well, we harvest 1.7 billion liters of water per day, green the desert and cool the climate. Covering two square kilometers of land, the CC air well consists of a 30 meter high cooling tower all underground, a water reservoir and a pump chamber into which air intake pipes are inserted, 12 reception chambers at the other end with 12 telescopic air intake towers feeding into these pipes. Water harvesting begins with hot air being sucked into the 12 air intake towers. From there, it enters the pipes leading to the pump chamber and then through the water tank before continuing into the cooling tower. In this underground pipe system and the cooling tower, condensation takes place. This water will be collected and transported into the water tank. The cooled air, now around two degrees Celsius, is blown out of the cooling tower. The cold air flows onto the ground and forces the hot air above to condense, forming fog and drizzle. This ground condensation is the main target of this project. All this condensation water seeps into the soil and cools the heat radiating from the pipes. 100% of this seeping water is collected in the drip tray, 30 meters below ground, and converted into more drinking water. The heat from the air is transferred into the soil. This can happen on a continuous basis because the soil is recooled by cold seeping water produced by the ground condensation. At 30 meters depth, this water reaches our drainage system and after being cleaned, it's transferred into the water reservoir. The compression heat from the cooling system is exchanged with the coolness of the water tank. Around a CC air well, forests and agriculture begin to develop and communities can establish. Where there is water, there is life. In our current state, soon countries like Mali, Niger, Chad and Sudan will be uninhabitable. But they don't have to leave because even with one CC air well, up to 2 million people can be supplied with fresh drinking water and a basis for life. The CC air well isn't just about harvesting water, it's about seizing the biggest opportunity of our time, using global warming to repair our planet and rescue humans and animals.